What is up my dudes, cheap bastard talking to ya and right now you're probably wondering why my mic quality is so bad. Well, long story short, it's because I accidentally interviewed my neighbor's dog. Anyways, with that out of the way, I borrowed this almost brand new Zotac RTX 2060 from a friend and paired it with my 4K editing build from my previous video. Top right corner, watch the video if you haven't seen one, it's awesome. So here are the system specs. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong folder. Now let's slide onto our first game tested. Red Dead Redemption 2. So I rode a horse and got these benchmark results on the highest preset available. By the way, if you're wondering why you see only 4 cores on your left, it's because with this fresh setup I forgot to check all the cores in MSI Afterburner. Sorry. Next up, Apex Legends. Using the highest possible settings, I came back with these benchmark results. On Rainbow Six Siege, I was finally capable enough to get some kills and after years of training, Nonetheless, I got these benchmark results on 1080p lowest and the highest settings. My Call of Duty Warzone experience could be described with this video. Exiting narrator. The game didn't really want to run. With Forza Horizon 4 on the list, I made some sick power slides with my glowing green Focus RS and received these benchmark results on ultra settings. When playing Valorant, my cat received a very unnerving call. So I thought I'd do some benchmarks on highest settings possible. Fortnite held up pretty well, but I didn't. Here are the benchmark results on epic settings. While playing CSGO, I was 360 no scoped by a skeleton. Either way, I got these benchmark results on both low and highest settings. Sliding over to GTA 5, I was driving around in this totally not a Ferrari F12 in a civil manner while getting these benchmark results on highest settings possible. Playing Cyberpunk was a whole experience with these photorealistic graphics. And with that out of the way, Cyberpunk performed rather strange. When switching the settings from low to medium, I received an average of around 1 FPS more. The CPU actually held up pretty well, even on Ultra or ray tracing ultra settings, it never got more than 90% of usage. And now, here's some leaked footage of what happens to people who don't follow my Instagram. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. And to conclude this whole video, I absolutely love the 1660 V3. I think it is one of the best price to performance CPUs on the market right now. Subscribe to be as strong as this frog. And don't forget to stay cheap, my dudes. Cheap bastard out. Yeah, but I'm not done yet, though. Wait, you're not done building it? Ah!